Hi, it's Luang from Google Tech, and today I'm going to talk about one hidden function of FreeCast that is very useful for you in case you need to design a big project with many parts that need to be assembled together. For example, here I have a block with a hole, and uh, it's another part to be assembled right into that hole. So normally when you need to change the dimension, you have to change the dimension uh, let's say the diameter of this hole, you have to change dimension here and here but there is other way in FreeCAD so that you can set up all the dimension in one spreadsheet and whenever you change the spreadsheet all the other dependent dimension will be updated automatically and that will save you a lot of time so let's uh, start the whole project so you can have a, a better look at it first I will close this file okay now we can create the new one uh, first of all we create the uh, main file okay which is the the block with the hole in this i can save it at uh, yeah main okay so it's simple in this one in the main file uh we need to go to path design first and we're gonna sketch a block here then it's a block okay plus a hole in the middle okay i should make this hole uh, in the, the triangle uh, symmetric over this so that it's easier for us okay now close then we need to is Distrude it, so I go with path and check whatever the men, men, um, dimension is fine. Okay, good. Well, that is how you create a normal path. But now we want to control the, all of the parameter in a spreadsheet, right? So we go to the um, spreadsheet workbench. We can create one. Okay, I'm gonna change the name of it to um, var. So that it's gonna contain all the variable that we want to control through the spreadsheet. So here I have the length of the block, then the width, then the height, and then the diameter of the hole in the middle. So diameter. Let's put the length like uh, whatever is eighty. The width is sixty. The high, let's put it uh, 40 and the diameter is 20. Okay, good. So this is how you uh, put the variable in the the spreadsheet, but we need to make it a, a allowable variable so that um, the body can uh, refer to that. So to this, you have to uh, add it to the alias here. I call it L1. So you see, after you set that, it's become yellow because now it's a global thing that like the owner of the part can refer to it. So here, the same thing, I'm going to change it to W1. Okay, here, uh, H1. And here is D1. Okay, so now it's done. Is on the parameter and it's a global function, a global variable. Now let's go back to our path here. We can change the sketch by adding those um, global variable into the sketch here. For example, for this one, for the length of it, uh, you can add an expression by clicking on this one here. So I could. This is the main file. Okay here and i can add variable and then i can add the length which is l1 when you click on ok it get updated to the value okay too small here you cannot see but uh let me show you here see it's 80 see what we set in the uh in the variable file now uh the same thing with here it's the vertical length and you see uh, normal dimension is going to be red color but when you refer to a refer to a global variable it becomes uh, orange the color is changed here you can do the same thing add it to here and change it to main bar 
then that's it the w1 let's say okay the same with the diameter of the circle here is main what and d1 okay now when we close it we have the block right here i also want to control the thickness of it by the by the variable in the uh, spreadsheet so here it's a uh, main what and h1 okay so this is the model now this is how you um, use the dimension set it by a spreadsheet to use it in the design of a park let's say when we use an external park we can also use the variable that we set in here and like, let me show you right now i will create a new park and i will name it at rod here okay so in rod i can um, go to uh, park design here and it's a very simple thing so we just create a cylinder like a circle here then we're gonna extrude it but before we extrude it to the height that we set there we can also set the dimension here as much as what we have set in the in the spreadsheet so it's the same man man is the man the name of the of the man file was here and we can put d1 okay yes so you see it's 20 it's like what we said in the uh this file here 20 so good let back to body now we're done with the sketch so we gonna escape from here and we're gonna extrude it to the high that we set so main bar, bar. And then uh, H1. Okay. So you see now, even though it's an external part, it can still refer to these one spreadsheet in the in, in, in other part itself. Now let's go to make a assembly uh, for them. Here I could create the new file, okay, and I will call it assemb. Okay, so in the sm file, I'm gonna use the main part here, and I can also add the raw part here. Okay, you see now they are like it. Um, I have one video that explains everything about which a sample uh wash band that you should use a2 plus or a4 uh, i put the link right there for you to check um, but here i will do it very fast just to demonstrate the purpose of the of this video so here i can put this um, concentric together is the cons constraint here so now that that you see that you can actually um, refer all of the reference to only one spreadsheet now let's back to my main file here. Uh, let's change the diameter to uh, let's say 30 and the height only onto 20. Okay, so we save this file. We will go to path now. We need okay, it's already updated. You see, it's updated to 30 and the high 20. Let's go to the road one. This one is not yet updated. You just need to refresh here, recalculate, refresh. And then now we back to the S75. Um, what we can do is just click on update path here. Okay. Sorry for after you update it, you need need to save it because the a sample um, watch pen they will refer to the last save file here. So when you go to assemble again, see now it's like this. So this is how you can put all of your reference dimension in one spreadsheet and manage only one time for all of the external file it helps you to save time a lot and you don't have to remember which dimension for which file that you need to edit so it's very useful in case you have a big project with many little parts to copy assemble together i hope this video will help you with your design 
and if you have any questions just let me know right in the comment section and i will try my best to help happy making